go, go, go. Digital, digital. Digital, digital. The cash is digital. Digital, digital. Dash is digital. Run it up. Digital, digital. Digital, digital. Stepping like Marty McFly. Stepping, I feel like the guy. I got them looking like why. I never doubted me why. I never doubted my guys. You know you win if I win. I stand on 10, you on 10. I don't have friends of a friend. Only the fan of the kid. Only my wife and my kids. That's all I needed to win. Now I only trust my true friends. Had to cut off my loose ends. You know I win if you win. You know you win if I win. I swipe that cash, don't fold. I swipe my bank on gold. Don't think that I've been dumb. I spend like I've been broke. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing my buddy's O2 RSX. Let's get into it. We're here with Clashy Squad and that's his RSX. I wanted to highlight this RSX because of all the small details on it. If you look at it from far, it looks like a, a clean RSX, but when you start getting into it, it gets pretty, uh, it gets pretty interesting. This is an O2 RSX, but if you notice the front end is a 0506 with an a spec lip correct yes sir and underneath what lip is that that is the sti lip from i believe 06 to 07. is that a oem honda badge on there also yes sir straight from japan that's amazing the color is what i think everyone kind of looks at because i don't think i've ever seen a midori green rsx in person most of the time they're eks and egs and uh what drew you to kind of like choose this color honestly I've always loved Midori Green ever since I saw it on the 96 Civic. Always been in love with that color. And I've always been a huge fan of the RSX. So it was like when the opportunity for this came up, I couldn't pass it up. Another thing that I've noticed is your wheel setup is uh, that kind of beefy, stancy kind of like. So like a little mixture of both. Yeah, like let's take a, like a little side look. Like you can see you have a bit of camber in the rear and you are poking. Uh, what's your tire and wheel setup? The Wheels are 17 by nine uh, RPF ones plus 22 offset and tires are Nitto NT05s 235 4017. And look at that. So we do have the TLS brambles I'm assuming behind there. Yes, sir. And I do like that purple a lot. What's nice about that purple is it kind of like, as you see, it plays off a lot of titanium. and. That's kind of a segue into this car. This car does have a lot of titanium bits that we're going to kind of go through. And you can see that he has the titanium lug nuts. Those are Project Kicks, aren't they? So, yeah, I think I sold them to you. Yep. And then we have the titanium valve stem and that purple and silver plays very nicely. You can see the rear is just poking out a little bit too. And uh, is the rear space at all? No space for in the rear. Wow, so that is just like natural fitment with the camber. And the front, I think you have a small spacer, correct? It's a, yeah, small five mil spacer. One thing that I think is one of my favorite pieces of this car is the carbon visors. Like, it's kind of small detail from far. Like, oh, you don't really notice this carbon. But as soon as you get a little closer to it, you're like, damn, like, look at this thing. It is so freaking nice. Who actually made that? So the visors came from a company in Florida, DC5 Creations. Um, honestly, it's a page that specifically specifies in RSX, EP3. Now he's getting into more Hondas, like the EKs, EGs, stuff like that. But he started specifically for RSX and EP3 platform. And then if we kind of carry this over, you have a nice window visor in the back that flows super nicely, especially with the way the sunroof kind of tilts on these cars. I like that a lot. And then we have a carbon kind of, not duck bill, but like trunk lid. And this trunk lid, I don't know if you want to tell people because that's a low, that's a low key secret that you have where you got. Honestly, I don't mind sharing it. Um, the rear duck bill is actually off of eBay. Check out the quality of this weave and everything. People used to compare eBay to like almost like an Alibaba back in the day. That was yeah. Alibaba kind of back in the day. Now eBay actually sells a lot of cool stuff. Like as you can see, you have your Integra badge with the OE badge, and was that purchased off eBay also? That was purchased off of eBay. See what um, I mean? All Ray authentic. Was, all authentic, everything's all authentic. When you guys look at the rear of this car, what's the first thing you guys notice? There's something, I'll, I'll give you guys a few seconds to try, especially RSX guys, you'll probably notice right away. But as you see, that rear lip is actually molded into the bumper and that is probably one of my favorite things of this car it makes the car look so freaking clean and then you have your third brake light there with that exhaust Jay's racing. my man <laughs> i think i'm a bad influence and I'm, I, I'm sorry to his fiance because 
you know, some of these ideas were like brought up because of me, and <laughs> there might have been a little bit, a little, ex a little, a little expensive. But the Jay's racing exhaust goes so well with the car. What I like about this car is like the titanium and the blue goes really nicely with the Midori, and that bluish purple carries over to the Brembos, which carries over to all the titanium. And like I said, like this car is probably one of my favorite RSXs I've seen because of how well it's put together. My question to you now is like the exterior looks so put together and so well done. What do you want to do next? Because I know there's always another idea. Always another idea. Um, honestly, with the outside, it's like 90% there. But I think next, I'm debating about doing a Fields front bumper or an Ings bumper. It's still on the fence. It's, it's a toss up. I don't know yet. Um, in the rear, like this close to wanting to do like a Jay's Racing or a Voltex wing. I, I think it would suit it, right? Like you raise the car possibly a little bit, you get it, you know, looking a little beefier with a little less camber in the rear and you put that Jay's wing and I think it would suit the entire car nicely. Like just imagine that just whoop, right over there. Oh yeah, Jay's fenders on this car yeah. will look absolutely amazing. So does Jay's make carbon fenders for this car or is it just fiberglass? To, to my knowledge, they're just fiberglass fenders. Okay. But Jay's Racing does have a huge, huge selection of parts for this car. Like yeah. the kit, the wing, the fenders, the bumper. But I might offend some people, but I don't like the Jay's Racing front bumper. I, I'm in the same boat. There's a I, lot of nice things they make, but the front bumper is not I'm my... I'm not a fan of the front or the rear bumper. Yeah. I think they do a good job of like accent pieces like fenders and uh, wings and yeah. stuff like that and like interior bits. But like, I personally like this A-spec front end, but down below, would you guys either want to see the Ings or what feels front bumper on this car? Uh, just comment, let him know what you guys think. At the end of the day, he's going to choose what he wants to do, but you know, he might be, you know, persuaded one way or another if he's kind of in between. I did also see another thing. I want to pull the trigger on it. So there's a company from eBay that actually makes the 0506 uh, STI lip in carbon. Ooh. And it's solid carbon. Ooh. So am I still debating if I want to pull the trigger on it or not? We'll see. And I think we talked about mirrors also. I don't know if yeah. you want to give away your secret about the mirrors. You know what? I, I honestly don't mind. Um, there's a lot of options for mirrors for this car. You can do the APR, little ones, race expired. Um, but I found uh, another company off of eBay that makes the Ganador style mirrors. And you can get them in either fiberglass, so you can paint them, or they come in solid carbon. So. Now imagine the Ganador mirrors in carbon accenting the carbon visor to the carbon wing. And if he does a Jay's wing, you know, carbon fiber wing there, I think that would look badass. I think the front end looks pretty good. No complaints, but if you did a carbon version of that, just to carry the carbon yeah. all across the car, bueno. <laughs> um, I'm debating about doing a carbon hood too. Like I just, I, I'm a, like, ever since I started building like cars back since like 17, 18, always been a carbon fiber fan. So, but back then it was expensive. Couldn't yeah. afford it, you know. But We're a little older now. A little it's... older, a little bit more responsible sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> What I really like about what you did here is you color match the valve cover, the strut bar with the car. And the engine bay is a work in progress, as you say, but what you've done so far, I think looks really nice. My favorite ultimate piece is obviously the intake. Look at that titanium. And one thing you were telling me is that the titanium actually changes every single time you kind of prop the hood because of, you know, the heat, obviously. Yeah. Engine bay wise, what do we have done? So. Here we've got, uh, like you said, unit two, three and a half inch intake, uh, RBC manifold, uh, the inside is ported, K-Tune throttle body uh, adapter, S90, 70 mil throttle body, um, stock injectors for now, hybrid racing fuel rail, tucked fuel line, uh, PLM headers, and then and we, then, have, we have a lot of titanium just kind of like hidden throughout the car. If, yeah, so I'll start pointing them out if you guys can't see. First thing is we have that hood prop. We have all the 10 mil kind of fender washer stuff. K-tuned, I'm assuming tie down or, yeah. or like a billet tie down. Just a billet tie down. And then the intake looks super nice. And then you have the RBC with the black. And as you can see, like even if we look over here, it's got titanium with the black. So everything's kind of pulling together. I can see where the vision's going with this, yeah. definitely. The engine bay on these cars do take a lot of work to make look good, especially when you live in a country like yeah. ours. And these cars have seen winters and stuff like that. I know this is not a winter car anymore, but I'm assuming in its past life, in it, may past have, life it, was, it may have but... seen a, a you know, winter or two. Not but... Since the rain. <laughs> exactly. Did you actually get this? It's on Honda, correct? 
Yeah, Honda V4. Did you end up getting it tuned professionally? Uh, I did not have it pro uh, professionally tuned, but the previous owner did. Okay, and do you know roughly power, what we're um, looking at? He said it made roughly around 215 to, 250? to the tire. Nice, and uh, torque-wise, you're probably in the 140 to 160 mark, like uh, your yeah, average. 150, 155. Yeah, and this is a K20 A2. K20 A2. Correct, so it's not, even though it looks like a Z1, because the 0506 is still an A2, uh, but you do have the RBC, which you get a lot of more top end with the RBC, especially ported it in a three and a half inch intake. This thing must rip. I'm excited to get into it, see what this thing sounds like and what it basically feels like. And uh, what we'll get you to do now is let's just get a few exhaust clips. They're not gonna be too loud because we're technically in an area where we shouldn't be. Just a few light revs. she smells good i love the smell of fumes as bad as that sounds but this thing actually sounds really nice we're not going to rip it here just because it's going to echo across and we're going to catch some attention we're going to definitely get into the car see what it sounds like what it feels like and uh give her a bit of a rip My man's got such a nice nerdy steering wheel. If you can look at it, this is the green, white, and red. These are one of the more rare steering wheels. You don't see as many people rocking them. And then we have a energy quick release with energy hub. And then if we look down here, we have a K-Tune billet shifter with a titanium hybrid knob. Yes, sir. And then you were just telling me that this is all like a Medulu kind of inspired look. Yeah. So uh, Medulo makes an interior trim kit for the DC5s in Japan. So it's this trim piece here. It's like these little silver accents. You see it on this side, and then you can see it along here. Very cool. That's one thing I noticed right away. I'm like, this actually looks pretty cool. I like that. I like how it's like engraved RSX. Yeah. And then aside from interior, just we have a double din, and it's all pretty. Aside from that, like, you have, and then you have your gauges, which is air, fuel, and temp. That's a temp gauge. That uh, beautiful. Nice, dude. All right, let's go for a bit of a drive. See what this thing sounds and feels like. Is a clutch stock on this? It is actually a stage two clutch with a resurfaced flywheel. Ah, very cool. Competition? Uh, yeah. It's, it's loud, but it's not too loud. And yeah, from the inside, I think um, the Jay's racing exhaust is perfect because you get that nice tone from the inside, but it's not like over obnoxious. Like you can cruise at 120 and not be like just the drone isn't like horrible. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it's, it's not super raspy or anything. No, not at all. Which is cool. Do you rub at all on your setup? Um, day to driving, no. Honestly, if I hit a really bad bump or uh, we come out or uh, coming out of a driveway really steep, I might rub a little bit. But other than that, no. And what suspension are you on? This is uh, Function Form Type Twos. Any other suspension mods you have on the car? Uh, so suspension mods, we got the Function Form Type Twos, um, all hard rates, inner and outer tie rods, Buddy Club uh, ball joints. And then in the rear, we have Skunk 2 camera arms, um, Voodoo billet LCAs Ooh. with uh, MPC uh, billet tie bar, um, subframe brace. Dude, so you are, you got a lot of suspension mods on this thing too. Yeah. You may not see it, but like underneath it's pretty loaded. So the question is, is when are we gonna track this thing? Oh. <laughs> you know what, my my best friend, he's been bugging me to track this car. I think, um, I think it's ready. I think honestly it is ready. With the tires set up and everything, it's it's debatable. Like I, I think I'm gonna do it. That VTEC. That VTEC sounds so nice. I love the crossover. This honestly, car. it sounds so, so good. We'll give it a bit of a pull once we get into a clear area here in Mexico. And uh, let's see what she sounds like. handled absolutely amazing.
it, it like we're heavy, right? Like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a heavy guy. Like I'm not a small dude. I'm, so. I'm not that light either. So. But I, you know what? For it's so agile and like with the right mods, like it can be so much fun to drive. And it's like it literally feels like a go kart. Best way to describe this car. It literally feels like a go kart. What I like about this car is the visibility is really nice on it it's too. Great. And uh, dude, this thing can, handles really, really well. Oh yeah. This is my first time actually driving a K2 like build a shift for an RSX and uh, I'm already liking it. Oh yeah. So I'm getting used to the clutch. <laughs> Dude. Like I've been driving this... manual for a long time and even when I bought the car it took me a little like you just gotta like finding that sweet spot. You gotta right? you just gotta get your bearings. That's 100%, 100%. it. But the car drives nice. Let's see a little Okay. I'm I'm used to driving K's so that's not a big deal for me. But this thing like Honestly, especially since I changed the tires, it like it literally feels like it's on rails. I'm like, I, I like the aftermarket steering wheel a lot. I definitely need to get one for the fit, especially well, for track. I'll be honest, like when I bought the car, the car had a factory steering wheel, and like again, I'm a big guy, right? Yeah. I'm six foot five, so like I needed the clearance for my knees. So when we saw, when I saw this one at the shop, I was like, you know what? Pull the trigger. I, I'm really enjoying this ship, sir. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, now I'm getting used to it. Unless, can I heel tone this car? Okay, okay, Chris Lopes. <laughs> All right, I need an RSX. It drives good. We got the big brakes here stopping us. Heel toe again to set. Oh, god damn! It's like I was meant for this thing. You hear it? Dude! I heel toe better in this car than I do in, in my fit and stuff. This, the pedal positioning is actually like perfect for like my. I got like size 12 feet and yours are even bigger. And uh, actually, it's really nice. Why do you use that RSX to your collection? Just saying. Just saying. Beat that, bro. Honestly, it surprised me too when I bought it. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, this car gas pedal like needs a little love to like press yeah. down I noticed and you know what so a friend of mine was telling me because he's had his RSX for 12 years in 2002 the gas pedal has this like it's it's different yeah I than know 03 to 06 yeah yeah so he had that problem and he switched his out to one out of an can 06 I, can I full lock this yeah full lock oh, All right. no problem yeah well that's one thing I noticed right away was that uh, like it, it almost has like a resistance point then as soon as you like press that, and then you're good. And then it catches. Will this take first gear? Oh yeah, yeah go for it. Oh. Yo, fun car. <laughs> and this thing's handling like, we're not on a straight road here in Mexico. This thing's handling like perfect around, yo, no body roll. Right. This is what I really like about yeah. Lord RSX is like, your center of gravity is so low and the thing, so one thing I know that these RSXs do is they have bump steer. Yeah. And you've eliminated it. Yes. No bump steer, especially ripping it around like this. Dude, this thing's a lot of fun. It's like I was saying earlier, like it literally feels like a go-kart. Yeah, like, That's yo. That's what I love about this car. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's oh, like, it's see, so nimble. There's something about Hondas, like you don't have to have a fast Honda to have fun. Exactly. I think if, once you have a Honda that's in the 200s, you you understand that. Yeah. But like, I like this shifter a lot with the, with the hybrid combo. With the, I don't know if K2 and a hybrid are really like this, but like that titanium shift knob on that shifter is it works. perfect. It, it's, really it's a nice feel. Like I like the shift knob a lot. Yeah. Dude, this car drives so nice. I like the aftermarket steering wheel. This is one thing I definitely need to get for myself. The heel toe, like pedal positions, mint. Brakes are good because you have the TLS brakes. You have nittle tires. Dude, this is a well-rounded car. You don't need to have four or 500 horsepower to have fun. If you have a well-rounded, like suspension-wise, like zero body roll happening right no. now. Like, I'll, I'll give it a little more, a little more like gas. I'm not, it's not a drift car or anything, but like, like look at this. this no thing, body roll. You, it's all your personal body that's moving. Yeah, yeah, it's not no the car. body roll. And like, let's come out of this and let's say we're at the track, which you should be. <laughs> B tag. This is an awesome, awesome car. I see heel toe again. Uh, a little off, I missed it. Did I hit it with the side of the heel? But this is a car that 
I can see like when the hot, like I'll be honest, I haven't driven an RSX since before my K-Swap and Alex is just pretty stock. He, he never did a lot. This is my first time driving an RSX with a lot of suspension mods and like it's impressive how good this car is. Like like zero body rolling. Like, and I'm sure you can even do more. Like you have sway bars? Factor sway bars. Wow, this is pretty nice for factor sway yeah. bars. Like I'm just whipping I'm, this around. I'm, I'm impressed. Honestly, I was impressed. Imagine like just like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would even add right now. Like it's handling so well that you might not even need a sway bar on this. But if you want to, obviously, you know, to each person, to each their own. Some people like bigger in the front, bigger in the rear, depending on how you drive. Uh, but dude, so far, this car is... Honestly, it's like I like to say it's a blast in a glass because it's it's not a big car, but you know what? Hondas were never big. They were not meant to be super powerful, but like the way that the Honda community has turned into it, it's just like it's such a well-rounded, fun car. Yeah, this car, like right now, and I, I'm honest opinions, friend no friend. I don't think I would change anything right now. I'm happy with how everything is like driving. Like the shifter feels great. The clutch I'm used to already. Uh, the suspension's amazing. Power's great. Obviously, more power is always fun, right? And I think we've talked about. I think we've talked about turbo in the future, but like, like this car handled. Like I think it's the tires that really do. Like we're gonna go into a corner and like zero. Like look at this. Just it's just so so. Chef kiss. This is Chris Lopes approved. I should have a stamp on this video. That's Chris Lopes approved. I'm a I'm a big advocate of short shifters, and like I'm loving lo this one of my favorite shifter setups I've driven it out of all my cars. I'd honestly say like what it kind of gives me the feeling of like you know the old school European Ferraris with the and, and yeah. Lamborghinis with the gated shifter. Yeah, yeah. It gives, it so gives like, I feel like with this, the way it's set up, like you get that click every. I think that's what it is, dude. Like you hear, like every time it goes into gear, you hear it going into gear, and it feels great. I love that. I love that. I love hearing it. I think yeah. hearing it just like solidifies that, like oh, I mean, like I know you don't need to know, but like you hear, like okay. you hear the car which just went into gear, like yeah, it's, just like it's that. nice. It gives you that mechanical feel, like this 100%. is not like this ain't no luxury Benz or something like that. This is uh, this is a, a Honda sports car at the end of the day. That's it. And that's what I think Honda built these DC fives for. It's a two door. You know, it's a compact car which fits still six five. I'm six foot five. Six five. You know, I'm al almost, almost six feet. <laughs> Thanks God, gonna give me a half inch. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the power band's nice. You hear VTEC, you have all the excitement of that, and uh, dude, this car's well built. And this is why there's a lot of bolt-on RSXs out there, and I and I've, I've had quite a few people ask me, but like the reason I want to do this is because like how meticulous your build is. Like you might by not looking at it, you're like, oh, this guy probably is just lowered, right? Yeah. But no, you have all the suspension mods underneath, and you still have room for a little bit if yeah. you do want to. There's but still, like, this always, you know what though, building a car is always room. For yeah, but like this is this more. is perfect in my opinion. Your VTEC for one last time Let's do it. and get out of here. Let's see. Overall, in my opinion, this car gets my stamp of approval. This thing is absolutely fantastic. This is a build that I think I would do if I owned an RSX. Looks great, handles fantastic, got some meaty tires, good brakes, and it's a lot of fun. Honestly, exterior wise, I wouldn't do much more. I think your exterior is almost perfect. Maybe that carbon splitter and maybe a bigger wing, maybe, maybe. Down below, comment, let them know. Should he go big wing or keep the carbon uh, deck lid? But I want to say thanks so much for letting me drive this and experience this. Uh, we've, this has been, what, two years in the making? Two years in the making. But, awesome, it, man, it was a blast. but it worked out. You got your new tire set up and everything. Yeah, everything came together. It wasn't right for us to shoot then, but it literally the See? everything panned out. And like the car is like, it's done for now. Go give them a follow. Let them know that the Lobe Squad likes and loves his build. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for letting me drive. Peace out, guys. I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more reviews, comment down below. Peace. And